I guess save is going to be the default where I go here, but I'd rather you can still spend up a little bit. I think you have Matt Chapman at 3.9K. I know Garrett Cole uh, is a tough matchup for any guy, but he's, he's shown some power against Cole in the past. Of course, Yankee Stadium, you don't need to have a whole lot of power whenever you're hitting there. Uh, Ryan Mountcastle, too. Again, I know Corbin Burns is a tough matchup, but at 3.8K, he's off to a solid start. That's a guy who you can go and rely on. Um, and then from there, you can still, you know, say, if you save at pitching, you can still get a couple expensive guys in the infield. But I think those are two guys to kind of start your lineup with on the cheaper side. All right, Gary, and take us to infield. Yeah, I'll give one splurge and one save. Uh, I think you can splurge on someone like Anthony Rizzo. Um, I don't think Jose Barrios is only going to record one out today. I think he's probably good for at least twice that. So uh, that's good. But even if you look back to last season, when Barrios struggled, it was against left-handed bats. He's dominant in right-on-right -right situations. It's the lefties that give him issue. And in that first start against Texas, he faced four lefties, all four reach base, one hit a home run. Uh, Rizzo's on fire to start this season. He's got a 504 expected Woba uh, through his first 22 plate appearances of the season. He's just feeling it right now. And anytime you can get a power left-handed bat at Yankee Stadium, I don't think it's a bad idea. So 4,700 for Rizzo is a really, really nice price. And if you want to offset that, I think Chad Pinder is the best value play of the day. You could put this guy at third base. You could also put him in the outfield. So there's versatility here as well, but he's just $2,300 going up against a difficult left-handed pitcher in Shane McClanahan, but Pinder, 144 WRC plus against left-handed pitching last season. He has always been an elite platoon bat against left-handed pitching. And because Oakland just doesn't have a ton of options, he's probably going to be hitting cleanup today. So you're getting a cleanup hitter for $2,300 who's got great numbers within the split. I think Chad Pinder is one of the best plays on this slate.